Welcome to 3 Minute Theology, I'm Joel. One of the things that we find often throughout the Old Testament is this topic of prophecy. But have you ever wondered what actually is prophecy and how is prophecy described in the New Testament? Well, what we find in the New Testament is that prophecy is given to us uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, But I want to create a little bit of distinction. In 1 Corinthians, we're taught that prophecy is a gift. However, in Galatians, we're taught that the Spirit of God actually also gives us fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness. Gifts are given as the Holy Spirit determines. It's not given to everyone. It's not... A guarantee. The fruit of the Spirit, however, is given to everyone. So now that we have an understanding of prophecy and how the Spirit gives it as a gracious gift, um, what is prophecy and how does it work? Well, prophecy, especially in the Old Testament, works in two primary ways. One is admonition. This is um, when prophecy is intended to elicit a certain type of response from us. It's a warning uh, to not act in faithless ways that will cause consequences upon us. But admonition is also a uh, anticipation for the blessing that will come from acting in right ways and acting in accordance with the law that God had given the people of Israel. Admonition, it can be both positive and it can be negative. Now, the other way prophecy is understood, and many of us probably would think about this is predictive. And typically, predictive deals with history. For instance, throughout the book of Isaiah, we have these predictive prophecies of the coming Messiah, the anointed one who would be born in Bethlehem and who would be the king that would bring rescue to the people of Israel, who would come in the line of King David and sit on David's thrones. These are all predictive types of prophecies that deals with history and a potential coming future. Um, and so prophecy works kind of in these two ways, admonition and also through um, predictive or prediction. But what is the goal of prophecy? Like, what does God intend prophecy um, to elicit inside of the hearts of the believer? One is repentance, especially when it comes to something like admonition. It, it is intended to cause us to repent for our sin and to turn away from our wickedness. Uh, the second one is renewal. As we turn away from sin, we want to turn to Jesus. We want to turn to His covenant, to um, His goodness. It's a renewal of our covenant commitment. And number three is right action. It's not good enough to just think rightly you and I, we have to do rightly. And prophecy guides us in not only thinking rightly, but actually doing rightly.